is Simon Richardson, uh, living for school, double gold medalist from Beijing in 2008. Um, before 2001, I was an um, electrician and also a cyclist. I'd only been cycling for about two years and going out on the club run, I got clipped by a car which left me with a broken right leg and damage to my back, which then left me after five years of operations and everything with um, nerve damage to my uh, left leg. So after trying to work out what I was going to do, I was put onto a solo bike with um, just a small uh, left crank, which put me into the disabled category, which raced with people with only uh, one leg and disabilities in either leg sort of thing. And after being picked up by the British team, they took me to um, Spain for my first ever race, which is a five day stage race. I then went to the World Championships in 2007. May 2008, I broke the kilometre world record and that got me a place in Beijing, which I went to in uh, September 2008. Uh, as I tell everybody, it's a very surreal experience because you're locked away from everything. You don't know what's happening anywhere else in the world. All you have is your Chinese TV, your Chinese newspapers, and your in-house uh, media stuff. So all you do, you get up in the morning, you go and eat, you train, you eat, you train, and you just watch Chinese TV and watch, watch what was on in the games. So you're really, for three weeks, closed away from everything. So. After, once I'd done my kilometre, on my three kilometre, I then had basically a week of just road training. So we did the road training, we did the road racing again, just eating, training, eating, training, that's all it was. After we'd finished the two road races, I then had about four days off. So I went off to the Summer Palace to have a little look around China, but it's so big, you, can't, you don't realise how big Beijing is. Like, the village was in the centre of Beijing, Tiananmen Square is in the centre of Beijing, and Sao Paulo is in the centre of Beijing, and they're all an hour away from each other. So it's just massive distances, so it's really hard to do anything at all. It's just, all you do, you mix cyclists with cyclists, and just athletes with athletes, and that's just the way it is all the time in the village. I got a gold medal on the kilometre track, also world record or Paralympic record. I got a gold medal in the three kilometre and also a world record, a Paralympic record. In the time road time trial, I got a silver medal, losing by 23 seconds. And then in the road race, I got 10th because I was domestic for the other British rider who got gold. Right, um, so after Beijing, came back, we got uh, put on the New Year's Honours list, got the MBE. Uh, 2009 I was signed up fully for the British team. So I was off uh, racing all over the, the world with them. Um, it was just country after country, race after race, uh, just training all the time. Then later in 2009, because the categories changed, I was put into a harder category because my category with a short crank disappeared. I then, with two weeks notice before the World Championships, everything changed and I had to learn to ride a bike again. So I went to the World Championships and only got fourth, which wasn't good enough for the British team at the time. So I got put back on the, the guest list, so just to ride for them when they needed me. So 2010, I did all my own stuff, all my own training, all my own racing. Still went to Germany, still went to Spain racing, uh, but all paid for by me. Uh, then 2011, Again, I went off to Spain racing, went to Germany, came back from Germany, training on the road in August, getting ready for the qualifier for London. I then got hit by a drunk driver who drove off, left it for dead at the side of the road with lacerations to the back of the left leg, pierced bowel, broken sternum, front, broken sternum, broken back in seven places, broken pelvis, front and back, uh, Claps lung and blood clots on the lung, and also whiplash brain injuries. Uh, so I spent 15 days in a induced coma, no, not knowing that I basically I was dead for 15 days. Uh, luckily, 
when I came round, I was um, out of hospital within 25 days. I first to stay in bed for three months and it's just been recovery from there. In the meantime, then I, I was looking at different ways to get back on the bike. So while I was in hospital, I was hunting round, um, found the, the trike idea at the beginning, I think of uh, 2013, but not really knowing at that time whether I was going to be able to ride anything at all, because we were still, I was still recovering from the operation. I had bone density problems, I had testosterone problems. So they're trying to sort all those out. So I, I think maybe June time, 2013, I emailed um, Ice Trikes and within about 10 minutes of emailing Ice Trikes, I had a phone call back asking me what I basically wanted. So within a week or so, I was down in Ice Trikes looking at the equipment and decided what we were going to do from uh, there. I got the Ice Trike in, I think about July 2013. I then became ill for about five months. So for about September onwards, I was facing ill. So I didn't do a lot on the Ice Trike at all. I'd done uh, came back then in 2014 and started training again. I've raced at Thruxton and I've also raced at Castlecombe on it. Um, I've been allowed now to race in the cycling time trial events because it's classed now as the only machine I can use because of my disability. So it allowed me to race able bodied races as well as disabled. I'm slowly getting back into it, it's just I've lost my confidence uh, mentally wise rather than power wise. I find once I get going, if I go out in a group, it's all great fun, I, I'm enjoying it. It's just that initial getting out on the bike, so it's all getting there. The strength is starting to come back slowly, mentally I've started to come back slowly. It's just hard work get, getting there. Uh, the, the trike has been great. Um, it's totally different to anything I expected to ride. Uh, it's so hard to explain, it's so fast. It's like just being on a go-kart. If you're so close to the ground, everything just seems faster than what you're actually doing. And bombing along at 50 miles an hour, it feels more than 50, and it feels stable. And you find, like I've changed it now for rotor chain rings on the front, which made quite a difference for, for my effort because of the no, not having a dead spot and not being able to pedal through it. So that, that's made quite a difference, but the bike in itself is so stable, so well controlled, it's just so hard to ex explain. Until you ride, you need to ride one. And people just say they're going to go for a solo bike and they won't try a trike because they don't like them. Until you've actually tried it, you don't know you don't like it. And they are very, very addictive. Um, on this bike at the moment, we've got my racing disc wheel. I've got the new back end on the, this frame as well now. I've got a um, Garmin system on it. I've also got a power tap system on it because I use a power tap wheel for training. Um, a lot of my wheels are only um, 130 uh, mil in diameter, even though it's a 135 uh, system on the back, but there's enough play in the rear end to take any wheel we want which makes it a lot easier to just buy a, a wheel off the shelf and put it in. Next year, if my winter training goes well, I, exp I want to do Land's End to John O'Groats. Um, not as a race, but just as a nice, gentle, eight to 10 day ride sort of thing. So it'd be 100 mile days, which would be quite good. Um, if my winter training doesn't go as well as I want, then it'll be the year after, but I will do Land's End to John O'Groats. And then after that, I've got to do a 24 hour time trial, which is a non-stop non 24-hour time trial up uh, by Liverpool area, which is one of the qualifier events for the Race Across America, which is uh, basically coast to coast in America, taking all of the mountains in and the plains and everything. Uh, it says it's a race, it's just you basically got to do it almost non-stop, but as, as quickly as you can do it. But people do race across it in three, four days. Try, try to, and it's, it's something like 3,000 miles, so do it as a team time trial. Well, I think that's it, isn't it? it covers everything, it covers, it covers my life. Yeah.